What's up guys, welcome to another at-home workout. Um, this is a postnatal core exercise. This is gonna help that person that needs to get their abdomen wall to be repaired, to bring it back together. Now, this is a progression from my first postnatal core exercises to repair. So if you haven't done that one, I want you to go back and do that one first before you dive into this one with me today. Okay, for this workout, you're gonna need a block if you have one, a yoga block. And uh, if you have a ball, if instead of the block, if you don't have one, just use a little ball, maybe it's like a squishy ball or something you have at your kids. Um, that could probably, that would really help um, with the pelvic floor activation. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Come on down to your mat, onto your back. And you're gonna place the block as we start in between your knees, okay? Just like this. All right, so from here, we're gonna take a deep breath and we're gonna start with a deep diaphragm breathing first just to turn all the muscles on. This is something I do still, um, and I am two years almost postpartum with Naomi, my second. So it's something I do frequently still, and my abdomen wall is healed, but I think it's a really good reminder of pulling our core up and in and that pelvic floor engagement. So let's get started. So block between the knees, big belly breath in, full expansion on the inhale, Exhale, contract, push your lower back into the ground. Squeeze the block between the knees, which lifts then the pelvic floor. So those are two things that we really have to focus in on. We're gonna hold here for three, two, and one. Relax, let's do it again. Deep breath in, big expansion of the belly. Exhale, contract, squeeze the block. Hold the navel to the back of the spine. Okay, so really think about knitting those abs in and down. Hold for three, two, and one. Let's do it again. Big breath in. Exhale. Squeeze the block. Knit the abs together. Keep squeezing. Lift up from that pelvic floor. You want to get that pelvic floor strong again so you're not, when you're jumping, peeing on yourself. So that is why we utilize this block. It's that training wheels. Let's do it again. Release, relax everything. Let it all go. Big belly breath in. Exhale, squeeze the block, lift the pelvic floor. Hold it there for three, two, and one. Relax. Okay, making sure when you're engaging your core, you're tilting your pelvis back. You're gonna feel like your hips wanna tilt back. You're knitting your, um, the king of your hip bones moving up towards your ribs and your ribs are moving down towards your hip bones. That's what we're looking for here. Navel up and back. Let's do three more. Big breath in, exhale, squeeze the block, engage the pelvic floor, draw the navel up and back to the back of the spine. Two more, inhale, release, everything's let go, exhale, draw the navel up and back, squeeze the block, hold it here for three, two, and one. Good, one more time, put your hands at your lower hips. Notice if those muscles turn on, here we go. Full breath in, squeeze the block, hold here for three, two, and one. Good work, perfect. All right, so we're gonna progress from here. You can remove the block, you can put it to the side. We're gonna bring our knees up, now into a floating tabletop position, okay? So once again, you need to be progressed from here. Um, you need to have this abdomen wall healed, okay? Like it is closed or it's almost closed. If you're a woman that is past a year postpartum, um, I would say these exercises are safe for you as long as you keep that transverse abdominal engagement. So let's go ahead and bring our knees up. Our hands are pushing into our knees. Our knees are pushing into our hands. This is a, um, we're gonna extend the right leg back and the right foot forward. So it's same arm, same leg, and then we pull it together. Okay, so let's alternate. Inhale, extend, keeping the lower back to the mat. Exhale, pull it together. We call these here. Inhale, open. Exhale, pull. This is called a dead bug. Okay, so keeping your feet flexed, one arm extends and the other pulls in. 
Lower back is staying connected to the floor. So if you're like, my back is rolling up, pull your knees in further to the chest and then begin, okay? Extension, exhale, contraction. Let's get four more right here, okay? Keeping those feet up, don't let them drop for four. Backs connected to the ground, three, two, last one, inhale, extend, exhale, bring it in. Good work, bring your heels back to the ground. You probably really felt that in your hip flexors, a lot in those transverse abdominals. All right, let's grab the block again. Let's place it back between the knees. We're going into a glute bridge now. Kind of stretch out that work we did. Okay, so same thing, hollowing out first, then glute bridge. So bring your hands to your hips here so you can make sure you're engaging those transverse abdominals. So put your hands low. Deep breath in, exhale, contract. Squeeze the block, push through the heels, lift the hips up. Hold at the top for three, two, and one, we lower back down to the ground. Let it all relax, repeat the process. Full belly breath in. Exhale, squeeze the block, draw the transverse in, lift up. You should be really feeling your glutes here at the top, yes, but also you're feeling your core. Feeling that pelvic floor lift. Three, two, and one. Release back down, again. Push your back into the floor like you're squishing something behind you. Lift up, squeeze the block. Hold for three, two, one. Lower down, let's do three more like this. Full belly breath in, full contraction. Lift the hips, squeeze the glutes. Hold for three, two, and one. Good, release back to the ground. Two more, inhale fully. Exhale completely. Hold, squeeze the block, lift it up for three, two, one, and hold. Lower back down, two more. Lift, squeeze the block, lift the pelvic floor, transverse abdominals, glutes are tight. Hold, two, and one. Relax, last one right here, full belly breath in. Exhale, contract. Push the back into the floor, hollow it out. Draw the navel up and back. Push through the heels, lift up, squeeze that block between the knees. Hold for three, two, and relax. Nice work, perfect. All right, so if you felt that strongly, in your glutes or your hamstrings, that's good too, okay? The great thing about doing this um, pelvic floor work, working your transverse abdominals, it's gonna help you find that glute activation. Have you ever heard of, um, after you have a baby, you just like lose your butt? <laughs> like your butt goes away, like you don't know how to fire those muscles. It's because your pelvis is not in the right placement to activate those glutes properly. So by retraining our pelvic floor, our transverse abdominals, it gets our pelvis in the right place, right alignment, so that when we are working um, our glutes or we're doing exercises that want to activate them, they will turn on because your body, your kinetic chain, the kinetic chain is just like your bones and everything is stacked in the right placement. So if you're like, dude, I felt my booty in that. Good, yeah, girlfriend, you did it right, okay? So I feel like that's the number, another, um, side benefit of doing these exercises is getting your glutes back, building that booty um, strength that you know we all want, right? Okay, good. All right, from here, we're gonna flip over. We're gonna come into a tabletop position. All right, right from tabletop, we're gonna grab our block again, okay? So we're gonna need this block once again, it's our training wheel. So anything, um, we're going to a prone position. In just a minute, those we were supine, which is face up, prone is face down. So I'm gonna take that block again, I'm gonna place it between my knees. I'm gonna come into a plank position. We're gonna start with a modified plank here, you guys, because progressions are good, all right? 
Just because um, you come up on your toes and you're shaking, you wanna make sure you're feeling it in your core. That mind and muscle connection is so much more important than just trying to get into the, uh, the exercise or just do it. So, okay, so modify. My toes are on the floor, my core is tight, knees are squeezing the block. So I'm lifting up through my pelvic floor. Um, my belly button's to the back of the spine. So what we can do here is we can straighten the legs, lift up, high plank position, shoulders in line with the wrist, hold right here. And then you can exhale, drop the knees back down. Okay, so we can do that a few times. Here we go, deep breath in. Exhale, pull the navel up. Now lift the knees off the ground, hold here for just three, two, and one. Drop the knees back to the ground. Let's do it again, deep breath in. Exhale, draw the navel up and back. Squeeze the quad, squeeze the block. Hold for three, two, and one. Good, let's keep this going. Inhale, exhale. Draw the navel up and back, squeeze the block, lift the pelvic floor. This even tightens those glutes, you're gonna feel it. Three, two, and one. Good, again, let's keep going. Inhale fully, exhale deeply. Lift, hold the block. Three, two, and one. You might feel the shaking, that's good. Embrace it, let's get two more. Inhale, exhale. Push, lift, hold. Three, come on, lift it up. Two, and one. Guys, I'm shaking too. Like I mentioned, I'm two years postpartum. It's still burning, it's still working. Big breath in. Exhale, pull it up, lift. Hold for here for three, two, and one. Good work. Not to mention, I know you're feeling it in your shoulders. You're feeling in your abs, your quads, your glutes. Just want to make sure that, once again, coming back out of this postpartum period, you want to take it slow. You want to do all these exercises right because they will reduce your risk of injury. Um, if you were doing something prior uh, to all of this, like running, or if you did CrossFit, or you did something that was very high intensity, um, you want to start with these foundational movements. So that way you're creating that good foundation once again and you're building your strength back up. It will reduce your risk for injury tenfold. I promise you that. I'm speaking from experience. I've learned from my first mistakes from my first pregnancy and um, my postpartum. And now with my second, I am definitely learning that this is key um, in getting my strength back everywhere else. When I'm wanting to lift or if I'm running to do HIIT training or running, whatever, um, it's, it's a game changer. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this workout here, you guys. Um, if you have any questions or if you're liking this, please like below and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.